Yeah, we back. We back. Now, I know it's been a minute, but we right back to it like we never left. Now, today, man, we're going to be talking about the homie Chaotic Truth, man. Chaotic Truth. Shout out to Chaotic Truth, man. I've done videos on him in the past. And even though me and him are on the opposite sides of the political spectrum in terms of ideology, I still think he's a halfway entertaining character, depending on the topic of conversation. Now, for those of y'all who's familiar with Chaotic Truth, he is what you call a black Republican, a black conservative, a staunch black conservative. Sometimes he up on the stream with the goddamn red MAGA hat on his head, the Trump hat on his head. He's really about that life. And the type of platform that he has is what you call an open discussion, right? He opens the discussion to the general public, right? You could be anyone in the audience, call into the show, give your thoughts, cam up, have a conversation. It's open discussion to everybody around the world, right? I don't have the same platform. I'm not gonna let y'all come onto the platform spin that garbage you know what i mean listen on my platform i'm the opening act i'm the headlining act i'm the king i'm on the stage y'all sit down y'all listen that's what it is but on chaotic truth channel it's a little different right so due to the fact that he's what you call a black conservative or black republican generally the topics that he decides to discuss he attracts a lot of unsavory characters a lot of these right-wing conservative so-called republican types that have a lot of inflammatory viewpoints as it relates to black people and on his live stream today it seems that he's had somewhat of an epiphany or a realization about the type of audience that he's cultivated over the years so in today's video i'm gonna play some clips from the live stream and we're gonna get into the commentary but before we get into that man once again i want to show love and give a shout out to the dedicated supporters the valued members and the esteemed contributors to the channel this year i'm telling you man we are taking the platform to whole new levels and we have many projects in the works in the world of mainstream narratives your support keeps us independent if you appreciate these videos be sure to donate and support the platform cash app in the description now back to the video now i'm not even gonna waste no time bro i'm just gonna jump straight into the clips and i'm gonna jump in and out with my commentary let's get into it i did a show i was talking about uh that white bitch yesterday uh uh, uh ruby frank bitch 60 years in prison beat the fuck out our kids no no whites other than the mechanic nobody and this has happened before over and over no 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 hispanics called in angel didn't call in to talk about her uh but but uh let me talk about tiffany henyard out of dalton everybody black white everybody wants to come curb stop the black bitch what, what do you think about that sir am i am i in the wrong for calling this out go ahead sir all right we back now i'm surprised that chaotic just came out and just called it out straight up because i remember sometime in the past week he had did a show where he was talking about ancient african civilizations he was talking about ancient egypt and things like that now keep in mind chaotic truth he is a black conservative he's a black republican but he's not the prototypical black republican meaning that he does have certain questionable views and questionable statements that he makes but he does believe that in ancient times there were legendary and respected african civilizations and when it was time for the audience to call into the show you had a few white dudes call into the show and try to discredit everything that he was saying and he had raised the question that how come whenever i speak about ancient european civilization how come when i talk about the ancient greeks and the ancient romans nobody comes on the show tries to discredit what i have to say but when i talk about ancient african civilizations everybody want to call into the show and throw their own two cents in to try and discredit ancient african civilizations but they never do the same thing when he talks about ancient european civilizations they never try to downplay or minimize the grandeur and the history of ancient european civilizations and that was actually the first time that i actually seen him question the mentality of his audience he actually said it like how come when we talk about the whites or the chinese or the mexicans or whatever nobody wants to call into the show nobody wants to send donations but when i'm talking about the blacks everybody wants to send 50 dollars super chats the panel is full everybody calling in everybody want to have a discussion but when he's talking about different groups different races nobody wants to call in the views is low but when he's talking about the blacks the views are running he's running up the views he's getting the ad money he's getting the donations the panel is full so he was questioning the mentality of his audience because he now notices that there is definitely some bias as it relates to that whole right-wing conservative you know republican circle now anyways let's jump back into the video nah man i, I feel you though it's about damn time you regulate this shit bro man i mean you yeah. know it, it's about damn time you regulate this shit because it's, it's not cool but here's the here's the problem you want i know you you're just being honest about the things that you feel and you do spread it across you'd spread it across everybody but the thing is a lot of these weak ass people they probably got beat up by black people growing up a black dude probably took their girlfriend 
you know, and then and then this you know, is the chance for them. Think, to I don't even think ninety percent of these hunkies even lived. Around. I don't even think they even interacted with blacks. That's what I really believe. But go ahead, I'm gonna let you finish it. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but but there's some type of something there where they want to talk talk cash shit about black people and not suffer any consequences. I mean, this is the internet, and you know, so they're kind of following a little bit of of your lead, and and they're running with it. You know what I'm saying? And and I, I appreciate you checking that for real, for real. I mean. All right, we back. Now, one thing that brother said that was facts is that chaotic truth, he is equal opportunity, right? He's not the typical black conservative Republican commentator that only has smoke for the black community, but at the same time being very respectful and cordial with other communities, right? I've seen him bring smoke to every single group, but the difference is his channel only gains traction when he's talking against the black community. And that is pretty much how it goes in these uh, even the Democrat circles, right? Because the Democrats, whether it's a black Democrat or a black Republican, the only use they have for a black you know, commentator in any of these political parties is to be a mouthpiece for their agenda, to be a mouthpiece for their innermost feelings and thoughts. That's really all it is, man. You're not here to be an independent thinker. They don't really want an independent thinker. Whether it's the Democratic faction or the Republican faction, they only want a mouthpiece for their agenda. Whether it's the Van Jones on the Democratic side or the Candace Owens on the Republican side, you're not here to bring your independent thoughts to the forefront. You're here to serve as a mouthpiece, a sock puppet. That's all it is, man. And whenever you deviate from that sock puppet path, that's when you that's when you see the pushback you get. And Chaotic Truth, he's kind of realizing he's getting some pushback when he steps out of the, the predetermined boundaries that have been set for him as a so-called black Republican conservative. And one thing I enjoyed that Chaotic mentioned was that a lot of these people who have so much to say about the black community, these so-called right-wing conservatives, they don't even interact with black people in their day-to-day -day life. They only see black folks on TV, maybe when they watch the, the football game or the basketball game. They don't really have any personal experiences to support their viewpoints, right? It's just predetermined prejudices that they've just been indoctrinated with. And they tend to gravitate to a channel like Chaotic Truth and many of these so-called right-wing conservative black Republicans, Candace Owens, Brandon Tatum, etc., etc., Anthony Brian Logan, because it gives them a confirmation to the biases they already had. Now let's continue. Yesterday, Music Life, I would have thought that so many people would call in the curb stump the Chinese. Ain't a goddamn hunky called in. Ain't a goddamn Hispanic. Ain't a goddamn pretty much nobody called in. But if I had been talking about some nigga bitch, oh, everybody would call in. Yeah, that black bitch. Yeah, I, I dealt with a black woman the other day. That's why I'm saying it's 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 deeper than that now. It's that you guys have this implicit in bi bias or you this, I don't know, deep down hatred about black people. And I'm calling it out now. Go ahead. Yeah. Like, damn, man, like, where are the whites at? Where are all the whites at in the chat when I'm going in on a white or this, that, and the other? And the thing is, is that they don't want to talk about whites. They don't, Hispanics don't want to talk about Hispanics. These, everybody wants to hone in on blacks. And the, and the tragedy of it is a lot of black people in America are curb stumping every other ethnic group in terms of financials, uh, living conditions, et cetera, man. I mean, let's be honest. A lot of whites are, are live in the rural parts of America. You got a lot of blacks, man, who live in gated goddamn communities or nice cul-de-sacs or nice old neighborhoods. And I'm like, I don't know what kind of blacks you you probably have watched too many uh, uh, precious movies. You know, yeah. I don't know any precious. Uh, I, I don't know that bl those blacks, I, the black people that I know are like the Cosby's. To be honest, respect. To be honest with you. <laughs> You know, the black people that's I the, know are the, the black people that I know are all the kids in different worlds. Like those now, in the last section of that clip, I really like what Chaotic Truth had brought up. He had mentioned how the average white man in America, really, or the average white person in America, is just a regular person living in the rural side, living in the countryside, you know, living, you know, below the poverty line, you know, really not living a special extravagant life. But the way that it's framed in these conservative right wing circles, they use their best and brightest as their representation. So they're never going to use the farmer in some hick town as their representation. They're going to use, you know, Bill Gates. They're going to use Jeff Bezos. They're going to use Warren Buffett. They're going to use their best and brightest to serve as their ambassadors, to serve as the representation. But when it comes to when they talk about the black community, they never use our best and brightest to serve as our representation. They use some ball player they use some football player they use some rapper they use some felonious criminal and that character becomes a representation for black men across the board and chaotic truth had mentioned that the black folks that he be around he don't be around that 
he don't be around that. The black folks he be around, they live in nice neighborhoods, driving fancy cars, wearing nice clothes, having a good job, having a good career, having a business, whatever, having money. And when Chaotic Truth that said that, I felt that. I feel him. Because my family, for example, is way more prosperous than the average white American family, right? The average white American family is not this big industrious, you know, elite family with billions of dollars. You might think that the media might spread that propaganda, but that's not the reality. And me personally, that's why I never could really pledge allegiance to any of these political factions in the United States, whether it's the Democratic faction or the Republican faction, because they both have their own set of implicit biases. Right. When it comes to the Democratic faction, they have what you call the bigotry of low expectations. Right. So they don't really expect you to be a high achieving, high intelligent, high earning, you know, high flying black man. And on the Republican faction, they are, they automatically think you're either some athlete or some criminal or some rapper or some, you know, nobody of any significance really so they all have their both they both have their own unique biases you got to navigate so me i choose not to navigate that shit at all man i'm loyal to my own economic and political interests that's it i don't pledge allegiance to any political faction period and i've only been making videos on youtube for about a year and a half but one thing i was always conscious about was the type of audience that i cultivated if you notice i don't even make any topics every topic that i touch on has to do with the black community because I wanted to cultivate an audience that was geared towards topics that pertain to the black community. I never really cared to expand my audience to different groups, try to target different groups, try to target the white community, try to target, you know, the A-Rap community. I, I, I didn't care. I didn't care to engage those communities. I knew that I could build an audience with my brothers, with my own people. And I'm telling you, I'm going to get to 100,000, I'm going to get to 500,000, and I'm going to get to 1 million without ever having a tap dance or sell out for these other groups, man without ever having to serve as a mouthpiece for any of these political factions. I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, bro. But I know if I wanted my channel to blow up in a very fast way, I could easily start, you know, hopping on stream, hopping on, hopping on YouTube with a red MAGA hat on top of my head, talking about, man, listen, I was a liberal. Now I'm off the Democratic plantation. Now I'm a Republican and I love America, bro. You know how many white folks would flood my bank account with all type of all type of gold, all type of wealth, all type of shekels, man, they be giving me that life savings, bro, just to hear a black man repeat their innermost feelings, man, just to have a black man serve as their mouthpiece so they could point at like, look, look at that black man, look at Nefakari Dessaline, he say what I think, that's all it is, bro, that's all, it's a grift, it's a grift, man, it's a grift, you know, it's a grift, man, and as a content creator looking at the analytics, you know what type of content drives traffic to your channel, so that's why you have these people who serve as a mouthpiece and they tap dance and they sell out because they know this was gets the ad revenue dollars. This what gets the views. This what gets the traffic. This was gets the opportunities to, you know, to get on Fox News, whatever. So listen, people are gonna follow the money, man. And listen, there's a lot of money in being a black mouthpiece for white conservative right wing politics. Democrat faction too. Both sides, man. Both sides. Anyways, man, it's a boy never card that's Celine back in the building. Yes indeed. Cash have up on the screen and I'm gone. Peace. Reincarnated, I'm back in the original fashion. I left on a horse and came back in that ass. And I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applaud it. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shit. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart would be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genders. Falsifying information. No, they got malice intentions step in the room and i'm feeling attention enemy watching me blocking my vision pay for the check cause i need my redemption building my kingdom i need to protect it ready for war like a young money congo never decided it team is the motto up in the crib and i'm whipping up waffles up in the crib and i'm smoking gelato i'm chilling i'm taking my pain and make it ambition i'm blessed by the gods but i ain't religious i came for the power they came for the bitch they making no hourly wage i got business this shit is an art and they can never be taught selling my soul i can never be bought play with my money i see you ain't caught run to the check I do it for sport. Babylon falling, I go to the source. Packing my luggage and go overseas. Shorty be with me and she so elite. Shorty be chosen, I'm calling her Hershey. Secret intelligence probably gon' murder me. Don't fuck with brands, cause nigga, I'm Haitian. Say the wrong shit and you're smacking their faces.